There are 1,010 Pokemon as of the time I'm making this video, so how many possible unique legal Pokemon teams can you make? Well, by a little bit of fancy math, the answer to that question is 1,010 plus 6, choose 6, minus 1. And that equals 1 quadrillion, 505 trillion, 241 billion, 980 million, 950,707. That would be the right answer if all we cared about was species, but not forms of regional variants. If we throw all those into the mix, including Spinda's ludicrous 4.3 billion unique forms, you get 4,294,968,608 plus 6, choose 6, minus 1 unique teams. Computing that as is is impossible for a computer or calculator, unless you use a pro gamer move called writing everything out in terms of multiplication. And we see that the answer comes out to 8.72 nanillion. That's 872 followed by 52 zeros. Of course, we're rounding here, since not even my computer can handle giving the full precision on these numbers. But there's still more! Each Pokémon can have 25.5 billion EV spreads and 1.1 billion IV spreads, 25 different natures, 18 different Terra types. Oh yeah, I'm also assuming that we're running off the Scarlet and Violet mechanics here. 256 different size values, 256 friendship values, and we have shiny and non-shiny forms. And to make matters even worse, every Pokémon can hold one of 336 items, but some items change the form of those Pokémon, so those forms can only hold that one specific item. We then also have to account for the different genders of Pokémon thanks to Attract playing a role, and then factor in the number of abilities a Pokémon can have. And yes, certain Pokémon forms can only have certain abilities. It becomes a whole combinatorical nightmare. But I have worked tirelessly over the past few days to put these numbers together into a handy Excel spreadsheet to calculate just how many unique teams we can make. And by my work, we can make 10.3 quator octa jinta quator octa quator octa jinta quator octa jinta tillion teams. A uh, quator octa jinta tillion is one followed by 255 zeros. And yet, despite all this work I put into this, there's one thing I haven't yet mentioned: uh, move sets. I'll keep this explanation real simple here. But uh, let's say a Pokemon has four possible moves in its move pool. How many unique movesets can it have? I'll tell you, the answer isn't just one. We also have to include empty slots too. In total, a Pokemon with four moves in its move pool can have 15 different movesets, which I've listed out with a handy diagram here. Now, consider that a typical Pokemon is able to learn 50 moves, give or take some. How many movesets can a Pokemon with 50 moves in its move pool have? Well, not too many, really. Just 251,175. If every Pokémon had 50 moves in their move pools, there would be a grand total of 2.6 Sanonagentatillion possible unique Pokémon teams. That's 2, then 6, then 287 zeros. Now, this is just an approximation since not every Pokémon can learn exactly 50 moves, but this just goes to show the vast scale to which a person's Pokémon experience can be individualized. I eventually plan to painstakingly go through Cerebi and fill in the total number of moves for each Pokémon painstakingly by hand, but for now it suffices to say that the number is so astronomically large that there are more unique Pokémon teams than there are atoms in the entire universe. And by a long shot. If you like this discussion video, odds are you'll probably like some more of my other content listed here too. Give them a shot if you like, you know, maybe have some free time. Thanks for watching.